Welcome back. With the shift to schooling from home and summer not too far away, how can you keep your kids learning so that they are ready for the next school year? Ben Lindstrom, a fifth grade teacher at Detroit Wardrobe School, has uh, some good ideas. Good morning to you. Good morning. Yes, uh, so I'm a fifth grade teacher at Detroit Waldorf School, and I know that this is a very challenging time for families, and this is a time where we're all trying to think of new ways of staying connected with students and keeping education going. Um, one of the things that I, I keep in mind during this time that has not changed is that we teach who we are. So. Um, during this time, the biggest thing that we're going to be teaching our children, uh, regardless of all the changes happening in the world, is um, how we react to this time of crisis. So uh, this means what are we doing day to day? How are we navigating the, the crisis as uh, families, as a city, and even in the world? Um, and when it comes to the remote learning, I'm specifically thinking about this in two ways. Um, the first way is related to academic skill building, so continuing along with that. And then the other way is related to continuing with a healthy developmental growth. So when it comes to the academic skill building, um, this means that during this time, uh, we're looking at questions like, what do our children need to do to continue on um, learning at the pace that's needed uh, going forward academically. So in fifth grade, in language arts, for example, uh, listening to great works of literature, using um, audiobooks. There's a, a mother and a child in my class who are doing a uh, like a book club together where the mom and her son are reading uh, a book together and then discussing it. And then when it comes to doing a book report, uh, students can work with me online, uh, going over the, the different pieces of a draft and things like that. Um, so there are lots of so great programs and, and for mathematics you, and science. When you're talking about some of yeah. the things that students should be doing, is reading, is that what I'm understanding? We have just about a minute left. Is reading the main thing we should be focusing on? I would say um, looking at the skills that are needed to continue are, are important. So that could be reading, that could be writing, it could be math or science for a particular child. But more importantly than that, I would say that the developmental growth of the children is what's most important. So if during this time your family is able to do something like build a garden or cook together, uh, doing anything like that would be far more important and, and lead to uh, maybe some some kinds of growth that wouldn't even be able to, to be done in the classroom. So. So these big picture ideas, and it could be something simple, just a daily check-in with, with the child if you have time for that. But um, if during this time of school closure, your family is able to do something like plant some seeds in the ground and see them grow or uh, cook together, that's a fantastic way to continue to educate and learn during the school closure. All right, very good advice. Thank you so much. Thanks. Be right back.